Hi, hey. Corinne. Nice to meet you, I'm Ariana. Nice to meet you, Ariana. How are you doing today? Pretty good. So Ellis gets stabbed by Dell, which is ah. really dramatic because it's like the least dramatic way to die in the town. I know, right? There's no no lead up or anything. It just kind of What was your reaction when you read that? I thought I was dead. Oh. I, I dead ass thought I was gone. So um the fact that I at least lived through the episode was a, a big blessing, um, but it's terrifying. I mean, anybody can go at any time on this show. So I'm just, I was just along for the ride. I was just page after page. Please, please, please don't, please don't say he gives his last breath. Come on. It was, it was crazy. Yeah. How was it like to shoot this episode? Cause it was very bloody and we often really don't we see a lot of gore and like dead bodies, but not just like a lot of blood. Not, gushing yeah, out not pouring them. out like that. No, it was it was crazy. I mean, it was it was really challenging. It was really tough. I mean, it was a long, long, long set of many days. But first of all, working with people like Jack Bender uh, as the director, you know, you're in safe hands. Our our whole cast is just so incredible and so great at what they do the stunt teams everybody kind of came together to make sure that this whole episode went as smooth as it possibly could so even the hard days were great because you got to look around and you got to just focus on what you were doing and know that as long as i'm doing what i need to do this is going to look great and i think it looks great and i think everybody is happy or if they've already seen it or, or if they haven't seen it are going to be really happy with the way it turned out yeah so in this episode, a uh, boy doesn't want to give his blood and us viewers know why, but in the moment, it's just like, I'm literally dying here and I yeah. need your blood. What do you think Ellis's reaction was? He doesn't really speak in that moment because he's dying. What do you yeah, think his reaction was, especially because he doesn't have the best relationship with his dad? I feel like it's, it's a complex, like, I feel like he's probably like, what the hell do you, what are you talking about? I'm going to die right now. And people are telling me that they could save me. That's probably 99% of it. Maybe the 1% is like, you know, we're on this new journey as father and son. Like, I hope that, you know, he's he's doing this the right thing. Because Ellis has a tendency to call out anything that he disagrees with when what that Boyd says. So, I, but I think majority of his thought was probably like, yo, is my dad literally going to let me die and bleed out right now instead of giving me his blood? But, I mean, thank God he didn't. Thank God he didn't. And now yeah. we got you know, we got one of those beasts destroyed. And I'm no I'm not filled with worms, but yeah, yeah, it was it was spooky. Do you think their relationship is becoming better? Or do you think the they had issues in the past, but also him killing the mom, even though it was to save Ellis? Yeah. It's just too complicated right now. I think I think it's I think it's on its way to being um as healthy as it could possibly be in a place like this. Um, it takes time, you know, it's, it's really difficult. And like you said, I, Ellis had to watch his mother die in front of him so that his father could save his life. Mm -hmm. That's really, really, really terrifying and really almost unfathomable situation to be in. And I think that's going to take more than a few weeks or even real it since the show it, since episode eight, where, where all of that was revealed and they had the reconciliation. I think it's been four days at most. Maybe. <laughs> so it's going to take, I'd say at least a month before these guys are, you know, on good terms. Best. Yeah. Terms, you know, do you think, well, Ellis supposedly has found the love of his life in Fatima, but is this the love of his life or the love of his town where he's stuck in? Do you think they would actually be together if they weren't, literally yes. stuck together yes without a doubt that is the love of his life in this world any world the other you every universe every timeline no matter what before death during life after life whatever that is his that is his person i hope she would say the same but that is his person that's actually super sweet but what do you as Cortian, but then also ellis would think of kind of the fandom of julie and fatima being together uh I don't know. I mean, look, if this is what I would say, if they decided that they were in love and they want to explore that journey, I would say, I wish you the best. I still love you. Uh, and I hope you're happy because especially now that Ellis is learning how to be emotionally involved, intelligent, 
he's not going to blame anybody and he's not going to be upset. He's just going to go and live his own life. That's what I would say. That would be really sad, but I hope that doesn't happen. But if it did, I think you'd handle it well. Yeah. And if you were stuck in the town, would you live in Colleen House or in a house in the town? You know, I used to say Colony House, but I like my space. I think I'd live in a town. Yeah. I'd, live in, man, I'd hang out at Colony House on the weekends, though. Yeah. And if you could bring one thing to town, which you would just hope was in your car, what would you want to bring? Oh, I would bring, I would bring, um, oh, I'd bring my, my Blu-ray collection. Oh. hoping that I could hoping I could find a way to play the movies but I think that's the big thing for me in my brain that I'm like are people not watching movies here at all like there's no way to watch anything no tv but I just looked at my I've got a like a few hundred uh dvds and blu-rays and I'm like I would take all those yeah what would be like the one that you would watch the most oh wow that's a great question uh boogie nights by Paul Thomas Anderson that's my favorite movie Oh, interesting choice. I can see with the style, though. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> or, or maybe uh, uh, do the right thing to be, uh, you know, a little fun. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. And I look forward to talking to you about this in future projects. Cool. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you so much. All right. Take care.